Hey, this is Zoologist at the Movies. In the movie Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the magical school Hogwarts has some issues with an abandoned pet of Voldemort called a basilisk. So what kind of animal is a basilisk? Well, basilisk, which means little king, apparently used to be much more common than they are today. They are mentioned in the literature throughout history, starting with Pliny the Elder in the first century AD, mentioned by Chaucer, Leonardo da Vinci, and Shakespeare. They are even mentioned in the Bible, although that was later translated to adder or dragon. But according to Pliny the Elder, it was a snake-like creature that was so venomous that it not only could kill man and beast, but even wilt the plants and crack the rocks around it. Oh, that sounds pretty promising. Others later attributed more powers to the basilisk, such as a deadly stare or a lethal breath. It is usually described as coming from North Africa and raising the front of the body. That, along with being venomous over a distance, would make me think this mythical beast is mostly inspired on a cobra. And not just any cobra, but one of the species that can spit their venom over a distance. Also, the only animal that was said to be able to kill it was a weasel. Well, that's probably a mongoose, so it sounds like a cobra to me. But in some descriptions, it's mentioned that they move more like a sand viper, using sidewinding locomotion. Clearly, the mythical basilisk is a mixture of real animals and magical abilities. But what is this basilisk in the Potterverse? What's this? It looks like a snake. It's a snake. A dirty great snake. Let's have a closer look at the basilisk in the movie. It has a lot of attributes that a real snake doesn't have. First of all, it has eyelids, but those don't stop the phoenix from gouging its eyes out. Real snakes don't have eyelids. Their eyes are protected by a transparent heart spectacle. This evolved when snakes lived underground early in their evolution. But some lizards, like geckos, have a spectacle as well. Because snakes swallow their prey whole, a slender lower jaw is all they need. They also have a flexible connection at the front of the jaw, so they can stretch their mouth to swallow their prey. A crocodile or a lizard jaw is like a big eye beam that transmits the bite forces from the muscles to the teeth. The basilisk also has a solid hinged lower jaw, so it looks much more like a lizard's or a crocodile's jaw. The skull of the basilisk that we can see in the Deathly Hallows Part 2 shows a typical snake-like flexible connection at the tip of the lower jaw. So it has strong jaws but a flexible connection in the front that makes no biomechanical sense at all. But the basilisk has no legs, you say. Well, actually, leglessness is not unique to snakes. There are plenty of legless lizards in the world, complete with all their lizard features, such as eyelids, but no legs. Furthermore, no snakes has horns like the basilisk. My conclusion? Just like the mythical basilisk, the basilisk of the Potterverse is a combination of different animals. Snakes, lizards, and probably a crocodile. Now there are, of course, real basilisks in the world. Those are the crowned lizards that live in South America. They have very long legs and they use them to run across the water. How's that for magic? I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, you know what to do. Thanks for watching.